military weapons. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching, where today I'm talking about the Fairchild Republic A10 Thunderbolt 2. It's a single seat twin turbofan engine, straight wing jet aircraft. The A10 was designed for close air support of friendly ground troops while attacking armored vehicles and tanks and providing quick action to support against enemy ground forces. The Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II entered into service in 1976 and is the only production-built aircraft that has served in the United States Air Force that was designed solely for CAS. Its secondary mission is to provide forward air control, airborne support, by directing other aircraft in attacks of ground units. An unusual feature is that many of the aircraft's parts are interchangeable between the left and right sides, including the engines, the main landing gear, and vertical stabilizers. The A-10 has a cantilever low wing monoplane wing with a wide cord, and the aircraft has super maneuverability at low speeds and altitudes because of its large wing area, low wing aspect ratio, and large ailerons. The wing also allows for short takeoffs and landings which permit operations from primitive forward airfields near the front lines. The aircraft can loiter for extended periods and operate under 300 meter ceilings with a 2.4 kilometer visibility. It typically flies at relatively low speeds of about 560 kilometers per hour, making it a better platform for the ground attack role than fast fighter bombers, which often have difficulty targeting small, slow moving targets. The A-10 is designed to be refueled, rearmed, and serviced with minimal equipment. Its simple design enables maintenance at forward bases with limited facilities, and the sturdy landing gear, low pressure tires, and large straight wings allow for operation from short rough strips, even with a heavy aircraft ordnance load, allowing the aircraft to operate from damaged air bases, flying from taxiways, or even straight roadway sections. Of its crew, it features one with a maximum takeoff weight of 22,700 kilograms. Its power plant includes two General Electric TF-34 GE-100A turbofans that feature 4.32 kN each. Of its performance, it never exceeds a speed of 833 kilometers per hour at 1,500 meters with 18 Mk-82 bombs. Its maximum speed is 706 kilometers per hour at sea level clean. Its cruising speed, 560 kilometers per hour, with a stall speed of 220 kilometers per hour. Of its combat radius, it can do a CAS mission at 460 kilometers at 1.88 hours and loiter at 1500 meters with 10 minutes in combat. It has anti-armor missions of 460 kilometers, 75 kilometers at sea level penetration and exit, and a 30-minute combat, and features a service ceiling of 13,700 meters. Of its armament, it has one 30mm GAU-8A Avenger rotary cannon that features 1,174 rounds, 11 hard points with a capacity of 7,260 kilograms and provisions to carry combinations of rockets, which include four LAU-61, LAU-68 rocket pods or six LAU-131 rocket pods. It also has two AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles for self-defense and six AGM-65 Maverick air-to-surface missiles. It can carry bombs featuring the Mark 80 series of unguided iron bombs or the MK-77 incendiary bombs or also the Blue 1, Blue 27, B, CBU-20 Rock I-2, BL-755, and CBU-52, 58, 71, 87, 89, and 97 cluster bombs, or the Paveway series of laser-guided bombs, or Joint Direct Attack Munitions, or Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser. What do you think of the Thunderbolt? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Let us know what you'd like to see. Be sure you subscribed, and I'll see you next time.